Hi everyone, can you hear me? Yeah, good afternoon. I hope all of you guys have been having a good show. Uh, my name is Sunil Motpati and I run a company called Keypoint Technologies. And today I am here to talk about our latest product called Explory. Uh, so, what is Explory? I think rather than me try to explain it in words, I think it will be better if we show it in action. So, I will request the team to play the video. like the video and got to understand what kind of functions that Explory provides to end consumers. Yeah, thanks. Uh, so, I mean as all of you would have got Explory is a smart keyboard app. Uh, what it tries to do is when the user is using the keyboard it tries to detect what intent the user is displaying, what are they trying to accomplish and then tries to bring relevant things to the user in the right context and time. Uh, being a keyboard it is multilingual by nature by definition. Uh, again since the user is giving a clear signal of what they are trying to do it is very intent based and very relevant uh, to the user. Uh, also equally importantly is cross app. Uh, so, I will take a little bit of time talking about how we got to Explory in a bit, uh, but this I also want to maybe highlight two three things that were a little subtle in the video right. Uh, firstly I do not know how many of you observed, but there is a, a shift that is starting to happen in the mobile landscape. Uh, if you look at the mobile experience today uh, what do we have, we there is an app for this, there is an app for that there is an app for something else, uh, but what does it mean for the user one the poor user he or she has to first figure out what they are interested in, figure out what is a good app to use for that, download it keep updating it and maintain that. And when they really need it the tough part right they have to actually remember that they have an app for that and they have to go pull it out and explore and engage with it. Uh, we think that model is quite broken already I think an average user has uh, some reports say 45 apps, some say 65. Uh, so, how is, how is the user really going to deal with this? I do not think the model is really going to scale. Uh, we think the way forward would be there is probably going to be 4 or 5 core elements within any mobile operating system which will take the responsibility of understanding what the user is trying to do with their device at that point in time and then expose the right service or uh, brand or things like that to the user at that point in time. So, the user does not need to go through that pain and that is what you saw happening in the video too. So, Explory is the first of these kind of uh, core services within the operating system that are coming out that are trying to do this. So, how did we really arrive at Explory? Uh, as a company we have been around for a while more than 10 years through this time uh, we have been largely working in the input space 
and our main contribution has to been to bring artificial intelligence to how users input text. Uh, we have been quite good at doing that, we have shipped on close to 100 million devices till now, uh, spread across handset manufacturers from lots of geographies starting from Korea, Japan to the US and Europe. Then couple of years back we started thinking uh, what else can we do for the user, we have all these uh, artificial intelligence chops, we know how to do input really well, uh, but is, is it just going to get limited to how the user can input faster or can we do more. Uh, if you think about it uh, on any given day the single most app uh, used app on your phone will probably be the keyboard because whatever you are doing whichever app you are in if you want to have any two way communication up pops the keyboard and you are interacting with it and you are telling it what you want to actually communicate. So then we thought hey actually this can become a gateway to the user for a whole new world where we can help them discover lots of things and that is how Explory started happening. So we started out with kind of the basic stuff we do as a regular keyboard auto correction, word prediction, being able to predict phases which was already kind of best in class because of the AI tech that we had there and then we started building some other things which also were using AI. So for example, we built out an intent analyzer which can kind of dissect what the user is exactly trying to do and I will talk a little more about intent in the next slide. Then also similarly when they are doing something what is the sentiment that the user is holding in that particular context and over the last two hours how has the sentiment of the user been, all these are very good cues to then figure out what is a good thing to match the user with. So this is what we mean by intent, if you see on the left side here these are certain types of intents that users express right that Explory can figure out quite successfully and how it works is uh, it, it does not derive these automatically uh, just in a single step but it tries to break this down into multiple things, it tries to figure out what is the topic the user is talking about and that can be at a very fine resolution, it can figure out the user is currently talking about going to a party or the user is talking about shoes, what kind of shoes, is it sneakers, is it formal shoes, is it ethnic shoes, uh, things like that, it can uh, figure out intent, what is the user doing within this topic, are they expressing an opinion saying that the last time I bought the iPod it sucked, so then we really do not want to show them anything with respect to an iPod at that point in time or show them an alternative. So we also figure out the intent part, what is the user doing within that topic. Then we can also figure out things like time context, so are they talking about something they are going to do next week, next month or two hours later, so we can figure out what is the location context, what is interesting, is it in Trivandrum, is it in Hyderabad, is it in Bangalore. So then we pull all these things together, that is how the intents that you see here they come up with some additional attributes. Now that is when the matching happens, we again have some machine learning algorithms that can smartly match those intents with again content that we have in the background, those could be brands trying to make a user aware of a service that they have, uh, it could be uh, an e-commerce store trying to uh, match the user with a certain product that suits what they are looking for. So I am uh, I'm sure you have seen this in the video but in case that ran through a little fast, this is again just some screenshots of an example, here a user is on WhatsApp chatting with their buddy and they are talking about taking a holiday and as you can see that uh, Explory can figure that out and then help uh, a brand or a service uh, offer something very relevant to the user at that point in time. Here the user is not in a chat app or anything, if you see even if you look at search uh, within a particular app or broader search as well, again users are uh, expressing intent quite uh, explicitly, so again that is a good time for Explory to offer certain things to the user even before some other search players can get in itself, right. So that is the broad approach we have been taking, like I said we have been an AI company for a while, uh, since couple of years we started channeling some of that towards the Explory product, it has been reasonably successful, we have about 2.5 million users now on the platform, 
uh, in a given month we are uh, seeing almost 4 billion keyboard sessions that shows you how pervasive keyboards are and then uh, we have almost 150 intent matches on average for user per month. So on a given day yeah they are almost seeing 5 or 6 very clear intent matches where Explorer can show them something right. And then uh, last month for example we closed by doing about 1 billion plus discoveries for all the users that are on the platform. And uh, by nature Explorer is getting the user at the right time, right place, right context. So the click through rates in general tend to be uh, much much higher because it is very relevant and contextual. On an average we see a click through rate of about 5 percent. Um, and last year we also kind of showcased a lot of uh, the innovation we were doing in multiple places. There has been a whole bunch of awards we have got around that including uh, Frost and Sullivan's award for a new product introduction in mobile marketing space. And there we were competing with almost 100 plus companies uh, when we won that. I think yeah that is a brief. Uh, a lot of my colleagues are here as well and they are going to be here today and tomorrow. So, feel free to ask questions and chat. Okay. Thanks.